Gordon Ramsay, but first, now Jen, I've gone on investigative journalist on you this week. Can you say that word? No. <laughs> I don't think I said it right there, neither did I. Investigative journalist. Oh, Is well that right? Done. That's good, well done. Good. Uh, basically, there's a whole craze, it's sweeping the nation. You might not have heard of it, it's called Kate Modern, okay? Now, it's an online interactive drama. It's like a okay. show you can watch. Oh, really? It's basically, uh, it's, okay. Ralph Rittles in it. It's about a group of friends. What they do is they post video blogs on the internet that you can go and watch. They're about one to four minutes long. But the thing is, it all links together to make a big story. So it's a bit but like it's a, a soap, really. It's like a docu soap, but okay. all online. And it's so, 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 right, okay, so it's not about Ralph Little, it's actually, he yeah, plays yeah, it's a about, character. Yeah, he plays one of the characters, and it's about a group of friends working because together. Because it's the way forward, because everything's going onto the internet now, and so they've probably jumped on a really good band. Well, yeah, record. yeah, so what I did was, I went down and had a look at them recording it, because they were sort of saying, well, oh, this is a new way of making TV, so we went down onto the set to have a look. Uh, it's really interesting, basically, it's a little bit like you make with a video camera. There's like one guy with a camera, there's one guy with a script, and they just throw it all together, they just stand there, they know what they're going to do. It's a bit embarrassing when they've just like, killed a little camera camera there and it's not kind well, of yeah, a huge big it's, production Yeah, team. exactly. And they're sort of all they're ad-libbing, they're just throwing stuff in and they sort of just record loads of stuff and they cut it all down. It's, it's, sort of not, it's not lit. You know, like in TV, there's all lights, it's all makeup, and it's all like that. This is very simple, very straightforward, but it's obviously done the business. It's had like 50 million hits online since it started. Wow. It's about 1.5 million hits a week. I mean, that's, that's big stuff, isn't it? It's yeah, big. it's really good. Really good. I'm sure, I'm sure it's going to, well, probably it's already taken off, but I'm sure loads yeah. more people will tune in now. Well, well, obviously they will because <clears throat> I've got a little bit of a cameo. <laughs> but we won't get to that it's just yet. Oh. I'm going to save it. You're going to enjoy that. Instead, let's find out what I Ralph. Can't wait. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Don't put the kettle on. Um, <laughs> I want to know from Ralph Little what is so different about the show. Here's what he said. There's nothing really that's ever been done like this before, to be honest. Um, uh, certainly in terms of, it, of its concept, in terms of its interactivity, um, in terms of the, the scale. I mean, for something that uh, is made for a relatively small budget, the, the sort of scale of ambition that, that we tackle is huge. Uh, like, there's kidnappings and secret societies, we've had gunfights, car chases, all filmed from a, from a first-person perspective. So if it's such a small budget yeah. and they're getting 1.5 million hits a week, who gets all the money from all the advertising? Someone's cashing in, yeah. I mean, someone, someone is. But the great thing as well is that as a, a viewer you can sort of interact with it. So you can sort of get involved in the drama and they have these things where they call them live shows where you can actually go down and interact in the drama like in Trafalgar Square where they happen to be. It's really good. So he told me a bit about the interactivity. Oh, wow. The uh, comparison I always make is it's like being able to watch EastEnders but then message one of the characters from EastEnders and get a message back because part of the production team, their full-time job is to manage that side of things and message back in character. OK, it's cameo time now. Are you ready for this? Hey! Oh, yeah, it, it's strong. Uh, let me, I've got to set the is scene. It's like Richard when he's been in all these other shows and they've always asked him, like when I was in the Royal <laughs> and they, I made the cutting room floor. Well, I wished I hadn't made the cutting room floor when you see this, but I have <laughs> sadly made it, unfortunately. Uh, let me, I've got to set the scene for you. OK, okay so it's a hen party in a club. Oh, right? you're not the stripper, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what, for a moment, can you imagine that? That would hit YouTube, uh, and not for a good reason. Um, basically, the hen comes up to uh, some slightly overweight guy who can't act at the bar. Take a look. Just get married, then. Just get married. Yeah. Want to see a drink? Yeah, if I can tell you, please. Tip off the tonics, please. Actually, this is the bird in the red dress. Yeah. Well yeah. done, well done. Now, did so, you... Oh, hang on a minute, sorry. What's that BAFTA on the phone? Oh. <laughs> I'll be there in a minute. You know that bit where <laughs> you pick up the cocktail stirrer and just chew it? Was that you did that yourself? It was all natural. No one told you? Nah. I just felt it, Jen. I just felt it. I was in the moment and I thought I could just reach for the cocktail stick, just, you know. You're